Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to day 15. We are halfway through this series and whether today is actually 15 for you or whether today is just one, I am so stoked for you and I hope you're stoked for yourself that you have shown up and committed to this practice. What you're gonna need is a blanket and two blocks. I'm gonna be instructing with the props and if you don't have props, you're more than welcome and capable to practice along. But if you do, I do suggest having some fun and experimenting with those as well. As soon as you get all of your stuff together and choose your favorite practice space, then go ahead and come to a seat, something comfortable, Get all of your fidgets, all your wiggles out. And then go ahead and close your eyes. Start to pull all of your senses from your external environment and start to pay more attention to what's going on inside of you. How you feel, your thoughts, So just watch and see everything go by and find a space amongst it all. This clear vision for you to focus, to show up and continue to commit. Turn your attention onto your breath Start to elongate the breath, making your inhales and exhales slightly deeper. your next breath in take an even deeper fuller breath in followed by an even deeper fuller breath out do this two more times deep soft inhale deep soft exhale and then after that third one just return to a natural rhythm of breath and open up your eyes and make your way down onto your back. All right. So have the knees bent, feet on the floor. Lift the head up, extend through the back of the neck. All right, and then just take a moment to feel both the right and left sides of the entire body planted on the ground. So draw your attention to your right leg and then go ahead and lift the leg straight up to the sky. Right, so I say straight up, but any amount up towards the sky will do, right? So the knee can be bent, it can be more at a 45, but just extend through the heel, right, to extend the leg. Flex the foot, right, so draw the toes towards the face. And then just pay a closer attention to the leg that the muscles are engaged and that the leg is active. <laughs> so I'm just poking myself, right, to check in. I'm definitely more of a need to feel it, to believe it kind of person. <laughs> and then take the leg down, extend the left leg up. 
flex the feet or foot. Check in with the leg. That the muscles are engaged, the leg is active. Take the leg down. All right. Bring your attention to your right leg. All right now, take the ankle over the left knee. All right now, elongate through the inner thigh, out through the knee. Right, so there's an active press here of the thigh moving away from the rest of the body. Now draw this left knee up off the ground and up towards you. If you feel more supported, take the hands back behind the thigh. And as that left leg draws closer to the trunk, Right, continue to reach and extend from the inner groin out to the knee on the right leg. So there's this push and pull element happening. The right foot should be flexed. The left leg can relax, or foot. If you do have the hands interlaced though, Right, we want the chest to stay long and broad. The shoulders to come down towards the floor away from the midline. And then take the foot down and cross the leg and switch to the second side. So take the left ankle over the right knee. All right, find that length from the inner groin out to the knee, right, as if you could take that knee towards the pinky toe edge. And draw that right knee in towards you. And then with the leg closer to the body, right, continue to lengthen from the inner thigh out to the knee on the left leg. Keep the left foot flexed. You can relax the right foot. Take the right foot down and cross. We're going to take both legs up towards the sky, reach out through the heels. Bend at the knees to bring the feet parallel to the, uh, sorry, the shins parallel to the floor. And then bring both of the thighs close to the chest. Grab onto the shins or the backs of the thighs. Take the elbows out wide so you get really square across the chest. Lift the chest, lift the head, bring the gaze in between the thighs. We're gonna rock and roll ourselves up to sit. Cross the shins. Oops, and then stay on your butt. <laughs> getting a little ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm just so excited about what I have for you today. All right, so we're gonna be sitting up. So if uh, you have the tendency for the low back to round, grab a blanket, something to sit on. It's even, right? And then extend the legs out, flex the feet. Lift up tall through the trunk. Grab onto the back of the right knee. And go ahead and bring the foot towards the thigh just like you would in tree pose. All right, now take a look down at your body, right? And we want this evenness in the hips, right? So naturally with the right leg back, that right hip's gonna wanna kick back, right? But we wanna bring everything more forward so that there's a little more symmetry. And then again, find that length from the inner thigh to the knee. 
Now we're gonna bring this ankle over the, the opposite knee or thigh, right? So instead of just like throwing it up there, we wanna reach back with the right thigh to bring it up and over. Okay, so now we're back in this figure four shape. Right, and again, find that length right, to bring the knee away from the trunk, away from the pelvis. Now grab onto the sole of the foot and to the knee, right? So we have this leg sturdy. And then we're gonna take it um, to the outside of the left knee or the left thigh. Right, we're gonna come into a seated twist. So take the left hand onto the right thigh, right? Start to walk the belly from left to right to open up the belly, the ribs, the chest. Plant the right hand back behind you, right? Turn that upper arm bone out away from the chest to just help open everything up to the right. Go ahead and untwist, come back to center. Grab onto the outer edge of the right heel, right, with the left hand, right? And then as much as you can, right, extend out through the heel. Just get a little, little extra stretch in there, <laughs> right? We wanna try and keep that symmetry in the hips as much as we can. Keep the low back long, stay lifted through the chest. Bend the knee, untwist the legs, extend the right leg back down and return to staff pose. So grab onto the back of the left knee, right? We're gonna come back to that tree variation or that tree leg, <laughs> right? So take a look down and see what's going on with the hips, right? And then bring that left hip slightly forward so that right leg pulls back, right? There's that push and pull action again. It's gonna be very helpful for where we're going. Lengthen through the inner thigh. back into that figure four shape, right? So grab the foot, grab the knee, reach that left thigh back, right, in its socket, and then bring it over the knee. Re-lengthen. Check in with the hips. Grab onto the leg. Right, we're gonna come back to that seated twist. So plant the foot outside the right thigh. Walk the belly from right to left. And then plant the hand back behind you. Turn the upper arm bone out away from the body. So that helps assist in opening up through the belly, the ribs, and the chest. twist, come back to center. Right. With the right hand, grab onto the outer edge of the left foot. Stay long in the trunk, right? And press out through the heel. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Bend the knee and cross the legs. Come back to Dandasana. All right, bend both the knees, cross the shins, and now we'll move forward onto all fours. All right. So take a look at your hands. We want to really set ourselves up here with the hands as best as possible so that when we move through 
this class, right? And as we hit down dog, plank, all those other goodies where we're bearing weight on our hands, right? That we, that we use the same foundation here, right? So evenly press, right? From the pinky edge to the thumb edge so that that weight is evenly distributed from side to side, right? And then evenly distribute the weight from the palm, from the heel of the palm of the hand to the fingertips, right? So the knuckles get hit, but those fingertips have a slight, slight grabbing action, right? This would also be your crow, your flying pigeon, hint, hint, <laughs> right? Anything else, again, that we're bearing weight, right? You can also have a slight turn of the hands out so that the thumbs are more parallel to the long edge of the mat if that makes it easier for you. Right? But again, we just want to find that evenness, that stability. And as the hands root down, right, there's also this lifting action that starts to happen through, um, through the palm of the hand as well. And that lift will trace up through the arms, up into the arm sockets, and then plug into the shoulders. So from here, just sway side to side, shifting that weight. Shift that weight <laughs> from side to side. And as we move through this part of class, right, if there's anywhere in particular that you need to stay, right, just stay and explore and be with the sensations. And now we're going to go front to back. pause at center and we're going to walk the fingers out so they um, start to face so they face the long edges of the mat sway front and back back and forth and then take the fingers towards you right that general direction And then we're going to come back to where we started. And then this time we're going to take the fingers in towards the center of the mat. And then come back to center. Walk the hands to where we began. Sit back on the shins. All right, close the fists. Roll it out. <laughs> Okay, just be aware of what you're moving. Are you moving your wrists or your arms? Just the wrists want to move here. And then reverse the circle. And then take the arms out straight. Open up the hands like they're headlights. <laughs> All right, close the fists, open. We're going to start at a slower pace. And then we're going to start to pick it up, go a little faster, go a little faster, <laughs> you're probably going to start to feel a little burning, go faster, <laughs> All right, take it up, <laughs> you might start to lose some coordination, but go even faster, <laughs> and then just shake it out. <laughs> Come back to center, close your eyes, pause, and take a few breaths. Go ahead and open up your eyes. Come on to all fours, and then step the right foot outside the hand, outside the right hand. Give yourself a moment to adjust in the hips. All right, so wherever you may need more space, you can also take the hands up onto blocks if that gives you a bit more structure and stability in the trunk. So you don't just feel like you're, to avoid the feeling of collapsing. <laughs> All right, take the right arm outside the right thigh and then sweep that arm back and up so you come into a twist. Mm -hmm. 
lift yourself up, take your time, reach both arms long in opposite directions, right? and then tilt back as if you're taking a peaceful warrior, right? So that right hand comes to the back of the left thigh. Any amount you can, tilt back. And then take it down to the ground, back onto the hands, step the foot back, return to all fours. Okay, so even here, right, find that evenness in the hands, and then step the left foot forward. Plant it outside the hand, <coughs> excuse me. And then take the arm outside the leg and then sweep it back and up, come into a twist. Pull yourself up off the ground, right? So feel into the legs to pull yourself up, reach the arms in opposite directions, and then continue to tilt yourself back so that the lef uh, left hand <laughs> comes to the back of the right thigh this time. Take the hands down. Step the foot back. Right, rebalance, re even yourself on the hands, get centered in the body. Step the right foot back, tuck the toes. Right, reach out through the heel, lift up through that inner line of the leg. Step the left foot back, right, and do the same thing. Reach out through the leg, lift up through the inner thigh, or reach out through the heel, reach up through the inner thigh. All right, so now you're in a really strong plank. <laughs> We're gonna shift into a side plank, right? So come onto the right hand, the outer edge of the right foot. You can stack the legs. You can place one in front of the other. You can also take a modified plank. Extend the left arm up towards the sky. All right, reach out through the heels. Right, find that long line of neutral throughout the entire body to come out through the crown. Sweep the left arm over to the front and then back down to come to plank. We're gonna come into plank on the left side. So left hand, outer edge of the left foot. Right, find that long, beautiful neutral position throughout the entire body and then sweep the arm up towards the sky. Sweep the arm forward towards the front of the mat, and then take it down, return to plank. Take the knees to the ground. Wrap the upper arms in towards the chest. Right? Lift the hip points up towards the ribs. Bend the elbows, keeping them in towards the, towards the ribs. Right? And then just lower halfway down. Right, we're gonna come into a chaturanga push-up. Right? Press through the hands, lift yourself up. Stay even in the weight as you come back down, the weight of the hands as you come back down. Okay, and then lift yourself back up. Okay, and then once more, right, keep the arms in close to the body, belly hugging in, and then press yourself up. Lift the knees, take it back to a down dog. Step yourself back an inch or two. Take three deep breaths in this dog. Right. Have a slight bend in the knees. So just like we were doing earlier when we brought the ankle over the, sh uh, over the knee, <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing here and have a little fun in our downward facing dog. So take the right foot, right? And then you're gonna stack the ankle over the left knee, right? And bend as much into the left leg as you need. 
Okay, I want you to press the arms back, press the chest back towards the legs, and then lengthen out from the thigh to the knee on the right leg. Now without rocking from too, <laughs> without rocking too much from side to side, start to walk the hands back. So pause at the back of your mat in this standing figure four. All right, stay low. All right, draw deep into the belly, right? Kind of scoop that low belly in and up towards the spine, All right? Bring the arms up to frame the face or the head, All right? Lift through the chest. We're gonna take this all the way up to stand. So press evenly through the feet, keep the toes light and long, hug into the outer left hip, take it all the way up. While you're standing, right, lengthen from the inner groin to the outer, to the knee. <laughs> so tongue tied all of a sudden. Let's start to bend through the standing leg. We're gonna fold back down just to where we came from, right? So bring your attention to that outer right hip and think of pulling it back, right? So you stay square in the hips, stay even in the hips. Take the hands to the ground and okay, walk yourself back to the dog. Take your time. Extend through the bent leg, uncross, and then do what you got to do in down dog. <laughs> Catch your breath, pedal the legs, <laughs> whatever is calling. Second side, so bend through the knees. Take the left ankle over the right knee and give yourself a moment here. Lengthen from the inner thigh out to the knee. Get really square as much as you can. And with staying as stable as possible, start to walk the hands back. And then come to that figure four shape at the back of your mat. Lift the arms to frame the head. Press down through the standing leg. Hug that outer right hip in. And lengthen. Feel back into the leg, right? Extend from the inner groin out to the knee. And then re-bend through the standing leg. Come back to that figure four, right? And that fold. Pull that left side back. Keep the hips as even as possible. Hands to the ground. Walk back to dog. Straighten the leg, uncross. Breathe. <laughs> Bring your knees to the ground. Sit up on your shins. Take a moment to pause. Grab your blocks. And I'm gonna give you an option. All right, so grab your blanket. I'm gonna set you up for with, a, with a little crash pad. <laughs> so we're gonna be taking flight, <laughs> working with an arm balance. All right, so if uh, this crash pad right, will help, um, in case you do fall, it happens. It's natural. So kind of catch your face. <laughs> All right. So 
crash pad. Oh, I didn't even explain to you, right? Find a shape like this, just something with a large enough surface, right, to just cover the front edge of your mat. And then set your blocks up so that um, the long, narrow setting <laughs> runs parallel to the long edge of the mat. Right, and then you're just gonna place your blocks as if they were like shoulder distance apart, just right below your um, blanket. <laughs> All right, so come up to stand. All right, so we've already been here, right? We're gonna break um, Ekapada Gal Galavasana down and move into Flying Pigeon. So we're working with balance, right? First, we're gonna start on our right side. So get even in the foot, keep the toes light and long, bend through the knee, right? Hug the outer right hip in, and then bring the left ankle over the right knee. Go right into that leg, right, right into that tree leg, right where we lengthen through the inner groin, out through the knee. So as you bend to lower, Right, take a look down at your hips, even feel, right, like where, where your evenness is, where your weight distribution is, right, because we want everything here to be as even as possible. Right, take the arms long, right, and now start to gather all of this length, all of this control from the low belly, the low back, everything hugging in towards the spine to take with you to follow up through the chest, right. So as you fold, 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 get closer. We wanna bring the tops of the arms onto the shin as high as we can, right? So that this foot grabs onto your, um, your arm for dear life, <laughs> right? There's nothing that can break this connection between the foot and the arm and the upper arms and the shin. This is gonna help propel you forward and take care of the bottom half of the body to follow your gaze, right? To take flight. So bring your hands onto your blocks, right? Just rest the, the palm of the hand onto the bottom edge of the block. And then those same hands, right, that we did on the mat, you're gonna find here on your block. So the fingertips are gonna grip, right? And you're e gonna have even weight distribution from pinky side to thumb side. All right, grip onto the arm with the foot, right? Take the chest, take the gaze forward. Start to just rock on that back foot. And just play with taking the weight forward. And then maybe one of these times when you come forward, you can start to feel a sense of lift. Right. So when you come forward to find that point of coming up off the floor, right? That balance of the upper body. That's when you can start to really hug into the legs to lift everything up. So try again on the right side. So bend through the knee, hug the outer hip in, cross the left leg over the right. right? Start to get tall in the trunk, hug everything in towards center. Right, take the arms forward, squat down low. Bring the arms in and up onto the leg as close as possible, and then hug that foot onto the arm for dear life. All right, spread the fingers wide, even weight distribution on the hands. Lean the chest, take the gaze forward. And then maybe you can balance. All right, hug everything in, lift up from the low belly. And then maybe you can extend <laughs> from the back leg to lift and extend and then come back down. <laughs> right, make contact with the floor, come back up, pause. And then second side. So this time shift your weight onto your left foot, right? Bend the knee, hug the outer hip in. Stack the leg, right? Lengthen from the inner thigh. Take the arms up, right? Bend forward. Right? 
lean back in the hips, keep that evenness there, and then make the connection with the arms so that the arms come as high up onto leg as possible. Hook that foot on for dear life. <laughs> Spread evenly through the hands. Take the chest, the gaze, everything forward. And then when you're ready to come out, take the foot down, take everything up just the way you came down, step the feet together, pause in Tadasana. So there's lots of little steps to take along the way to get into that one kind of tiny compact pose, right? So who would have thought that all these things <laughs> are happening all at once to make something again so compact happen? But then once you start to play and practice and find all those little in intricacies that turn on, you can hopefully find a big feeling of expansion and lift. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and just take your blanket off to the side for now. Okay, and then grab your blocks. We're going to come into a supported back bend. So one of your blocks is going to go on its highest height. The other block is going to go the highest height being the furthest away from you. The second block is going to be closer to you on its medium height and its um, long width is running perpendicular with the, the top block. This bottom edge of the block is going to lie directly underneath the bottom edge of the shoulder blades. So it may take you a couple times to come down and kind of see where you're at. Right, but use your hands to support you. Take your time getting down. So that first block is going to support the shoulder blades. The second block is going to support the back of the head. Right, so it's going to rest right at the occipital. The occipital for some of you would be that bone that protrudes out the back of the head. Allow the arms to drape out by their sides. By your sides. <laughs> Go ahead and straighten the right leg. Straighten the left leg. Close your eyes. Turn all of your focus inward. Use your breath to calm the mind, to calm the body, to bring everything into working together. Breathe in a little bit deeper. Roll gently onto your side and off of your props. And then remove your props from underneath of you. Take one of those blocks with you and then come back, uh, return to your back. <laughs> Press down through your feet. 
lift your hips up evenly and then on its widest setting place the block under your hips bring the sacrum down onto the block to rest You can keep the knees bent, or I'll give you the option if you want to straighten the legs. Close your eyes. Go back to that inner space. Your legs are straight. Rebend the right knee. Rebend the left. Take a moment here to pause. Press the feet into the ground, lift the hips. Slide the block out from underneath of you and return onto your back. Straighten the right leg. Straighten the left leg. Take your hand onto your belly. Move into a deeper, slower, ev more even rhythm of breath. The inhales are just about as long as the exhales. If you can stay here, then please do for as long as you'd like. If you have to come up with me, roll onto your right side. Support your head with your arm and pause for a round of breath. Use your hand to press into the ground and return to an upright seat. Give yourself a moment being back upright. Take a deep breath in, followed by a deep breath out. When you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I hope you had fun. If you have any comments, questions, anything you wanna share about your experience, please comment and let me know. would love to hear from you. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.